We are students at the Karls Institute of Technology and we are the project managers of the Gramodaya project of our student association Engineers Without Borders. We are a team of about 25 students of various faculties working on the Gramodaya project. We will build the solar power community center and we will introduce small scale biogas plants in the northeast of India. India is one of the largest and most populated countries in the world. If we think about India, we see IT experts, delicious food and a colorful cultural diversity. But what lots of people don't know, despite the huge Indian economic growth, the increasing wealth doesn't reach the whole population, especially the Adivasis are neglected and forgotten. The Adivasis are a heterogeneous set of ethnic and tribal groups, considered as the aboriginal population of India. Many Adivasis have been expelled to give place for new industrial locations and increasing urbanization. As a consequence, they are more and more losing the rural area where they usually live and work in the fields. Fundamental needs such as school education, electricity and water supply and medical care enters their life very slowly. That was also recognized by our local partner, Antyodaya Shetana Mandal, who runs an eye hospital for the poorest of the poor. In January 2015, I was a member of the first visit to the village Shurisai. The positive reactions of the village people and ACM were overwhelming. We three, the inhabitants of Hurisai, ACM and our team discussed their specific needs. It turned out that they have neither electricity supply nor a proper meeting place. We want to strengthen the independence and the community feeling in Hurisai. Therefore we want to offer a long-term perspective through education, empowerment and innovative community development. Engineers Without Borders that's more than 250 students working voluntarily on eight different projects. Since EWB has been founded more than 10 years ago, we deployed various projects all around the world. For example, in Uganda, where we built fishing ports, sanitary systems and toilet facilities for small rural communities. Or after the earthquake in Haiti in 2010, where we built a water system with its own filtering system. Or a school in Port-au-Prince, to supply hundreds of students with drinking water. One of the literally largest projects was the construction of a suspension bridge in Sri Lanka, where we worked closely together with the locals. The bridge spanned about 50 meters and provided a safe crossing over a riverbed, connecting several villages with their fields, especially during the monsoon season, when the riverbed may become a dangerous or even deadly obstacle. Working closely together with the locals is an essential part of EWB's philosophy, since our goal is to enhance the living standards of people in need by finding solutions for their current demands, by developing sustainable results with and for the locals under application of our engineering skills. The way we work is that we are divided into different working groups, each having specific tasks. Technically, we have two main groups, one for the biogas plant and one for the community center. In addition, members can also get involved in more general tasks like fundraising or public relations that affect the entire project. Since July 2014, we are working on different concepts how to implement our vision and goals. As a result of our first visit to India, we were able to make our main decisions, for example about the energy sources we want to use. We decided on solar energy for a bright community center and biogas for cooking in single households. The idea behind the biogas project is not just to help the Hudisaya village by bringing in a clean source of energy. We also want to create a new environmental friendly consciousness in the region. With the installation of the biogas plants, the villagers will be able to transform animal feces into a flammable gas, which will be used 
to cook and illuminate each household. The hoodie's eyes are not just going to benefit of the production of biogas, they will be also able to use the fermented feces as a high quality fertilizer. With the support of an experienced architect, we are currently working on a concept for the community center. We want to create a place for assemblies, social communication and educational lectures. Furthermore, ACM will use it as a facility to offer basic healthcare and workshops on women's rights. Based on these use cases, we designed the building for about 200 people. Additionally, we want to install solar panels for gaining electricity. As tools and materials, we only use what is available locally to support the local economy. It exists a very important feature of EWB, which distinguishes us clearly from large organizations. Every euro goes directly to the project. There are no personal costs. There is no administrative burden. For realizing our project, we depend on your support. Please help us with your donation.